Hi everybody. I thought this might be interesting, so I'm going to try to record this. I'm waxing uh, the bottoms of some of my things that I want to dip. And so let's see if we can put the camera over here somewhere where it won't fall into the hot wax. Okay, if we just don't breathe very hard, it'll stay there. Okay, so the I, I have my, um, let me lift this. I've got my electric skillet with wax in it, and it's just plain golf wax, the kind that your grandmother uh, and myself do a canning with. So I've got a couple of jar lids under the front of it so that the wax, okay, so, in another video, I described it as taking, uh, as going to the beach. So up here, you're on the sand, and you're going to wade down into the water. Actually, it's wax. And you're just going to turn it around and around so that this side gets exposed to the depth that you want. And then, to avoid that little blurb when you pull the wax out of the, uh, I mean, you pull the piece out of the wax and sometimes you get a little um, kind of a pop that splashes uh, wax up onto your piece. So if you'll just gradually move it back up onto the beach, the place where it's hardly, uh, where there's hardly any wax, then you get a real even, um, amount of wax and you get it that you get it even all around so let's do let's do this one this has a little foot on it the insides are already glazed uh, it's deep over here and it's shallow over here so let me put you back here and make sure you can see I'm gonna put this one over here I'm just going to gently put it, and I'm going to bend over so I can see how deep I'm getting it, move it into the wax, and then right there is good, and I'm just going to turn it around very gently. You want to use a dedicated pan for this because it's a real pain to take the wax out and then cook with it and then put the wax back in, plus twirling these stoneware pieces around in here. Kind of scratch up the bottom of your non-stick skillet. So I'm trying to get that right to the line where I want it. Okay, I think that's good. So there's no reason to get in a hurry on this. So gently lean it over, lift it up, and you don't have any splash. And you have a, let's wait till that gets. So then you have a perfect line around the bottom of your foot or whatever you're trying to get wax on. So let's see, let's put that one right there. I've got parchment paper over here that I'm laying them on. You could use an aluminum cookie sheet to stick them on. Um, okay, this one has a flat bottom, no no uh, foot carved, so it's gonna be flat. It's The flat ones tend to splash more than the, well, I don't know, they probably just having that little air pocket in there. And a carved foot probably has just as much potential to uh, splash. So I'm going to get that right up there. And I'm just going to turn it around in the same spot as much as possible. Very slowly so you don't jerk it because you're dealing with hot wax here and you don't want to 
you don't want to splash it, but then too, it, it will tend to go where you don't want it to go if you move it very fast. Okay, I think I got that one. So I'm gonna slide it back up here to the beach and very gently pick it up. No splash. And that is a perfect uh, line of wax all the way around. Let's see, let's do a lid. I have a couple, oh, here's one over here. Now, this has glaze on the interior of this. Um, and I think, I think I want this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use brush on wax around here because I don't wanna dip all this into there. Uh, so, well, probably wouldn't hurt. The wax over this would just prevent Let's try it. So my theory is that the wax over this isn't going to hurt anything because the glaze will stay there. It'll just, when I dip it, it'll just prevent um, any other, uh, the other color of glaze from getting on there. So I'm going to slide it right out to the edge of the rim there. So this one's going way deep into the wax. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So I'm I'm gonna lift it up by tilting it and letting a little air come in. And you can probably see that better than I can uh, on the camera there. Don't flip them over. Like don't just like turn it upside down because your wax may still be molten and it'll run over the edge and that's just, then you have to refire it to get that off before you can glaze it. But let's see how that is. Not to, oh, I didn't get it on one. See, I didn't get it so much on this side. So we're gonna do it again. Slide it down in there. probably just didn't turn it enough on the other okay so it's back up on the beach it's not in the wax at all but I'm gonna lift it slowly anyway so we'll give it a few seconds to harden up okay now I got it all the way so that's good. Yay. All right, so now this lid has a flat surface on the, on the bottom of it. It has glaze already inside there and I wanna dip it up to here, but I don't want any glaze on this part. So I'm gonna set it down on the beach and then I'm gonna wade it into the ocean here, the ocean of wax. Turning it around. I think on the other video that I did about this, um, the wax was not hot. And I just sort of went through the motions without the wax being hot. Perfect. We're getting a little bit of it up onto the upper edge of it, which is fine because this is a pretty tight fit on this guy. Then gently lift it up so you can avoid that suction that causes that little um, splash. And then you have it. It sort of crawls up onto the edge, which is fine. It goes on, 
it goes on this pot right here and it's a pretty tight fit so I I'm happy to have that wax on the edge there to to prove because I fire my um, so I've got a little spot right there that didn't get any so I'm just gonna try to yeah got it covered um, so I always fire my lids in my pot on my pot I guess uh, if I can do that sometimes you can't avoid uh, having to fire it separately so that's it that's all I have to to put wax on right now so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye now